Hello and welcome to my channel all about Adobe. Today I am going to demonstrate to you how to select any color uh, in Photoshop and then change that color by using a U saturation adjustment layer. Uh, then I will also show you how to use levels and layer mask to turn on adjustments on different parts of your photograph. So this vlog is perfect if you would like to change the color of an object or of a clothing item um, in a photo by using Photoshop. So let's start. So here you can see an example of a photo I have taken of myself. The background um, is not cluttered um, and it's got an orange color and my clothes are fairly simplistic and uniform. The first step will be to make a selection of the color you would like to change. Uh, we will start with our orange background and create a new layer by going to the select option on the menu bar and then choose color range. I will choose the select colors option in the dialog box and the selection preview I will keep on grayscale. Then I will use the eyedropper to select the color on my image. In this case, the background color is orange. Uh, whatever is white is selected and whatever is black is not selected. I have to increase the fuzziness to get more of the color in the selection. To get all of the shades of orange in the background of the image as part of my selection, I can select the plus eyedropper tool to choose those shades of orange not yet in my selection. So once the whole background is white, I can go ahead and click OK. And now uh, our whole background is selected. The next step will be to add a new U adjustment layer. And um, to do this, I will go to layer on my toolbar uh, you can also play around with saturation and the lightness but I will mainly concentrate on the U which I think will leave here uh, at this green color okay so now if we want to change a piece of clothing's color we can follow the same process so Say I want to change the color of the red sweater. We will create a new layer again. I will choose the color range option again. And this time I will select the red color on my sweater. Okay, again, bring up the fuzziness and use the plus eyedropper tool to refine your selection. Uh, it will be okay to get some sort of some of the other parts of your image in your selection since you will be creating a new layer and therefore you will be able to mask parts of this layer later on if you need to. Okay, once you are happy, you can click OK to see you, your selected area. Once again, uh, we will create a new layer uh, with the selected area by going to layer, new adjustment layer and hue saturation. And again, change the hue to what you want to in this case, I want to choose a color that still will look natural for me. And this purple color looks natural. Um, so as you can see on this image, some of this um, purple hue is also part of the selection on the jacket I have on. And the next step then will be to refine this image and to exclude or include some of these color changes in different parts of the image. Okay. To do this, you hold Option and click on your layer mask to see the selection again. All the white parts forms part of the selection and will therefore also be um, influenced by your applied hue changes. So any part of your image that you do not want to form part of the color change, you have to choose to the brush tool and then paint over those areas of black. So here I am painting over the parts uh, of my jacket that had that purple hue and the result is much much more refined image okay so let us look at the before and after 
and see the changes that were made in the background and the changes that were made on my clothes. Um, I played a little with um, the image and decided to swap the colors of the jacket and the sweater and uh, from red to orange and vice versa. If you like what I demonstrated and you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching All About Adobe and I'll see you next time.